Well, howdy, friends. Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters, the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and Mad River Fly Fishing Travel. You know, it was almost exactly one year ago today that I was down in Louisiana at one of my favorite places on earth. Yes, you've heard me talk a lot about it, and that's the Woodland Plantation. And we got to spend some time on the water with our great friend and guide, Travis Huckabee. And not only did we have some great fishing, link right there to the documentary, but Travis also guided me to the biggest redfish I've ever caught and really the redfish of a lifetime. So we thought we'd show you that fish from start to finish. And then be sure to come back because I'm gonna answer a few of your questions on the equipment that I was using to land that fish. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> oh God. Can you believe the size of these fish? I know you can, Travis, but my God. I mean, this is just... I grew up red fishing in Florida. <laughs> and the Everglades. It ain't nothing like this. No, that I did the same thing in Northwest Florida. You get on some bulls on the beaches. This is different. This is different. This is what makes this place better. It's just so heavy. <laughs> Don't feed him. Come on. 
We all put that right to the turf on bed and I did it right here. This is the point of break. He is a pig. He is a pig. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my god. Oh. No way. Well, they're more old. <laughs> Your biggest fish ever if you've only caught a 28. 28's my biggest. Well, bro, you just broke that by a mile marker. Because you don't even know how big that is. I don't. Again, toe. I didn't think it was that big. The freaking. <laughs> I, I am. Oh my god, look at the mouth on that Dude, fish. Pounds. 39 pound redfish. I just broke my personal best by 11 pounds. We just, this is a lap dancer. You yeah. gotta get a lap dancer. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Dude, I, I don't even. My old brother had a tape. I'd like to tape that thing. You can't even get your hand on it. Huh? I can't. Uh. This is a fish. I'm gonna hold this. You can try to grab the fish. I'm gonna support you. Okay. You're gonna get slimed today. Yeah. Oh. I mean, ultimately, he's like a 40 pound iron we measure. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. He's ready to go. Okay, man, what a thrill. I mean, that's still just, in fact, my shoulders, my, my arms are still worn out from that fish. I mean, what a, what a thrill that was. But, you know, uh, so many people have seen that video. Um, in fact, Foster Capel that owns Woodland Plantation, he says about three quarters of the people that show up say, say that they, uh, uh, they're down there because they saw that video. So we really appreciate y'all watching. And since then, there's been tons and tons of questions about the equipment that I use. We're gonna do a kind of a full length video on exactly everything that we take with us on those uh, redfish trips, but I wanted to talk real quickly about the basics of what I was using that day. And first and foremost, my rod. Uh, that I was using was the TFO Axiom 2X. And you all know that uh, I, I love this rod. It was designed by our good friend and mentor, spiritual leader Flip Pallet for Temple Fork Outfitters. And they're fantastic rods. I really love them. I use them fresh water, but especially in the salt water. Of course, my reel is a Nautilus CCF X2. Also another uh, product that Flip turned me on to many, many years ago. I've become a huge Nautilus fan supporter and I use almost exclusively Nautilus CCF X2 in the saltwater. Um, as Flip told me, best saltwater reel made, I would agree. I've got quite a few of them. Um, and this rod, by the way, uh, was I was fishing a nine foot 10 weight, which if I know I'm gonna be getting into the big bull reds, I'm almost always fishing a 10 weight. If uh, another rod that I really love, and we've done a review on this rod also, which should be linked right there, is the Echo Prime. And the Echo Prime is a little bit shorter. It's an eight foot, 10 inch rod. And I carry this also both in the eight weight for maybe smaller fish. I carry it in a 10 weight. And then I also have the 11 weight that I fish for tarpon. This rod just excels at, at redfish. This may be the best redfish rod ever created. It's just great for making those little four to six foot casts right off the side of the boat, which so often happens down in Louisiana. And again, Nautilus CCF X2, of course, why would you use anything else? My fly line. Of course, the only fly line I use in saltwater, it's also 
uh, one of uh, my favorite freshwater lines. I fish this line for smallmouth or largemouth. But this is the Flip Palette High Viz line from Cortland. Uh, I've been using this fly line exclusively, and yes, in the bright orange. You've heard us talk about that before. Uh, <clears throat> but the Flip High Viz from Cortland, it's the only line I use for redfish, for bonefish, for tarpon, for permit, for smallmouth, largemouth, pike, musky, you name it. My leader formula, let's talk about that really quick. Of course, uh, I have my Flip Palette Mad River Outfitters leader wallet, and in this wallet, I can build every contact fly fishing leader. Contact fly fishing, casting a fly directly to a fish or to a target. And uh, for the redfish, off my 10 weight, okay, um, I'm typically using Maxima Clear. Maxima Clear is just good, old fashioned, inexpensive monofilament. And I'm usually going about four foot uh, a butt section and off my 10 weight, I'm using 24 thousandths, okay? And then I might run about two foot of 0.022, and then I'm gonna go one to two foot of 0.020, and that's my tippet. So I've got approximately a six foot leader. If you do need to make this leader a little bit longer, now, quite frankly, the redfish down in Louisiana are not leader shy, they're not line shy. If they are, you can just simply make this butt section six foot. Super easy, leave that at two foot, no big deal. Okay, so there you'd have an eight, a nine to 10 foot leader with that formula. So it's really, really super easy. A three section leader, and if you've seen the video, uh, or the two videos that Flip Palin and I did together. It's a super simple three section leader and the butt section is determined by the tip of the fly line. Okay, it gives me that proper bell curve. And then of course my tippet is determined by the size of the fly and then it has to withstand the fight of the fish. And then this section just splits the difference between the two. Could not be easier. And then of course my flies, um, I pretty much use the plantation crab. Okay, in fact, this is the same box that was in the video. And the plantation crab is a fly that we developed in a number of years ago uh, down there in Louisiana. And uh, as many of the guides in Southern Louisiana will tell you, the redfish just jump all over this fly. I carry it in the lead eye version, and then I also carry some of the bead chains from time to time. We also fish some chartreuse clousers from time to time. Uh, you know, redfish aren't all that picky. I fish this fly because it's mine, and I, I tie up a bunch of them, and, and they, they love it. Uh, but redfish will eat a variety of different things, and that chartreuse half and half is a real popular fly down there. So just wanted to give a quick overview of the equipment that we were using that particular day when we caught that redfish of my lifetime so far. And like I said, stay tuned. We'll kind of do an overview of all the stuff that we carry with us on the boat when we're on the Louisiana trip there at Woodland Plantation. So, and looking forward to getting back there real soon. So as always friends, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss an episode. Hit that like button and stay tuned because we've got a lot more coming at you. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.